Hi guys, welcome to the next part of my drop pod build. Uh, at the moment I have clipped out all of the parts from the sprues and uh, I've just been cleaning them up, uh, getting them uh, cleaned up and ready to, uh, to glue together and uh, still got a little bit of, uh, of that to do but um, I've done a little bit of modding already and I thought I would show that off um, before I, I get everything together. <coughs> So basically, everything's been clipped from the sprues, so we've got the the landing fins there, we've got the upper and lower door sections put together, put together the uh, the engine block with the swiveling gun turret, uh, the harness pieces, they've just, uh, they're just held together by friction at the moment, and uh, that's all just getting cleaned up and ready to go. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go over the, the modifications that I've done so far. <clears throat> and uh, this is, is obviously something that you want to get done before everything goes together to get the, the maximum amount of utility from the actual model. So um, basically it's just a, a simple mod that I've done which is just uh, for the, the weapon mounts because you have two weapon options. You have the Storm Bolter mount which comes as, as standard or you can get the uh, missile launcher which is a, an, a blast weapon and uh, basically with any model you want to try and get the most use out of it one week you might want to try the missile launcher one week you might want to try the storm bolter so being able to swap those elements out um, is, is a big deal for me so what I did to start with is I assembled the engine block and uh, at the bottom it has the swiveling uh, pintle basically and now this part's not actually glued together it's held in by friction for the moment you can see that you've got the hole there and you have the uh, central pin here this part all gets glued together these circular bits the fans the the body structure and this little bracket here and this goes down through the top and the idea is that you can glue the bottom part of that pin into here at this stage it's holding either all right by friction so basically I'm just using friction for the moment and that allows the the pintle part to move straight out of the box this uh, this pintle section has got two nubs on the sides and what I've actually done is I've clipped those off why did I clip those off? Uh, so that I could put a magnet in there you can see that I've got the, the magnet in here uh, basically just got my drill bit used a 1 8 um, rear earth magnet and drill bit and just put that in there and this is going to allow us to swap out the, uh, the two weapons so what I started with first was I cleaned up the parts and on the inside you can see that there are there are two slots and they've got holes in them and basically that would allow the nubs that were originally on the pintle to uh, to slow, uh, slot in there and then you'd glue it all together and it would allow the up and down movement so it just turns out that those slots in here happen to be about one eighth of, a, of an inch with the just fractionally under, so I just used my 1 8th uh, drill bit and drilled out one side of the, uh, the hole and put in a magnet on one side I made, I made sure that it uh, it went all the way in and sat flush you don't want any, any parts sticking out and so basically what this is going to allow is we've got the, uh, the flat section here with the magnet in We've got the clean flat section here, which has got a magnet in on one side. Make sure your polarities are correct. And that just allows you to slot that in like that. And being a strong rear earth magnet, it holds perfectly. Still allows you the up and down movement. You've still got the pintle movement, um, left and right. And it's just a simple matter of just sliding that off. Same thing with the storm bolter. You've just got the magnet in there and that will slot like that 
and you still have the up and down movement, sorry, upside down even, haha. Uh -huh. And so that uh, that allows you to again have the up and down movement side to side, and you can just swap that out, no issues. Perfect. I like to have the uh, the utility that way. All right. Now the next part that uh, that I found when I was getting the pieces ready, these harness pieces uh, are quite involved. We've got a lot of a lot of different parts that are going to create the uh, the five. That's what's come about. The five uh, struts with the harnesses, two harnesses on each strut. And so you know with a total of 10 for your tactical marines, or whomever. And they're all pretty much the same, except for the uh, the sergeants. Now the, the sergeant's um, harness goes together in a very specific way with very specific parts. And if you just mix and match the parts and get them wrong, it's not going to fit. That, why they've sort of done it that way, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, basically, we'll show you how it goes. So... The first part with the sergeant's harness, as you can tell, that um, it's different from the others. It's got the little skull on the front of the harness piece there. And if you take the uh, harness piece out, the tabs on here are actually round. All of the rest of the tabs on the other harnesses are square. And so that means that you need to find the strut which has got the round holes in here, otherwise it's not going to fit. You can see on this side it's got the square ones and that will just take a regular harness. But on this side it's actually got uh, round holes. Uh, so the round tabs will fit. And there, um, I'm sure there must be some reason why they did it that way, I'm not entirely sure why. Now, the, uh, the difference with this strut and all the others is it's got these hoses, and these hoses come down more than the others, if you look at the basic strut. It's got these two hoses there, the, the cabling and the hose, and it just comes down a little way as compared to, let's get this right, to this one, which has like the smaller hoses, but they hang down lower. And then we have the column piece, and this is going to go together with all the other pieces to make a central column. And this one's a little bit different than the others, because this has got a little keypad with monitor on it, as opposed to the regular ones, which just got your basic greebling details. This one has the this keypad here. And that <clears throat> goes specifically with the uh, the sergeant's harness. And then once you've got that all done, that's all going to, to go together. But that can be a little bit of a stumbling block if you're not familiar with how that works. And they will all go together in the central column, and they'll have the, the cap over the top. And this is uh, essentially all, all the same. Don't have to worry about that part. Oh yeah, that's just uh, one of the little stumbling blocks if you're if you're not aware. Uh, that you need to make sure you get those those columns sorted out um, because the sergeant's harness is is built differently to all the others. Uh, the rest of it I haven't had any issues with. It seems like they are uh, generic. Uh, it's just the sergeant's harness that's a little bit different. So there we go. That's where I'm at at the moment. Still just cleaning up a few of the parts uh, to make sure everything's going to be clean and smooth. Uh, no mold lines or anything like that for when it gets painted. So nothing's going to stand out. Um, so yeah, just taking a little bit of time just to clean that up. But uh, it's worth it to get everything nice and clean. And it makes uh, the assembling and painting process that much easier. I've seen a few uh, ideas about magnetizing the doors. I'm not sure that I'm going to bother with that. I'll see how well everything holds together. Uh, I might be able to have a look at that when you think everything is sort of getting um, test fit and see uh, which way I want to go with that. But so far, the, uh, the, the weapons are the only sort of major um, adjustments I've made. So there we go. Um, 
pretty simple so far pretty happy with how things are going and uh, I'm going to get the rest of it cleaned up and ready to assemble so there we go thanks very much for watching take it easy